Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a print ready PDF file in Adobe InDesign. Uh, first thing you need to do is to make sure there's no error in the document. At this point if you take a look at the status bar you see a green button and it says no error. Um, what I'm going to do is to create a couple of errors and then show you how to fix it. For instance, I have this text box and the text is fitting here properly but I'm going to resize this one and make it smaller or shorter and then uh, we we will end up with some overset text as you see there's a red plus sign here and we have some overset text um, if you take a look at the status bar now uh, we have a notification that shows a red button and it says one error I'm gonna do one more thing I have this picture here and I'm gonna go to the folder that I got this picture from and I'm going to re rename this one to bird-2. So as soon as I come back I see a uh, red question mark here and also I see the status bar shows two errors now. So how do we fix this? If you double click on this uh, we have the pre-flight uh, panel open so um, you can basically uh, look at the errors here. I have the missing link and I also have the overset text. If you double click on the text frame here it will highlight this here and it will show you where the error is coming from. So if you wanted to resize this uh, text box you can do that. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to resize it down and you see that will disappear. And now for this one if I click it will jump here to sh uh, that shows me this image in this document has the issue and what I need to do is to relink this so in order to do that I'm going to go to window links so we're gonna open this panel and this one will allow us to relink this image to the new image um, you can relink it to a to an image with a new name or new location. So all you need to do is to click on this image first or here and then click on this chain icon which says relink. And uh, we're going to go navigate here and click on bird 2. Click open and that will replace it and now we see there's no error here anymore. So what I'm going to do is to click here and here to get rid of both these panels. Alright, so now it is time for saving this document as a PDF uh, file. So I'm going to go to File Export and um, you can rename the file if you want it but what's the most important here is to go to Save As Type and make sure you have Adobe PDF print selected. I'm going to click save. Uh, that will open the export panel or export Adobe PDF window. Uh, first and foremost you got to go here to the preset. We have a bunch of different ones. If you want this PDF uh, to be a, a small PDF to email it to someone all you need to do is to select a small file size and you're done. But if you want to print it uh, you should select high quality print for laser print or you can click press for offset printing. For the sake of this example I'm just going to go for high quality print. And um, you can take a look around here and uh, we have all the pages and uh, that's pretty much what we want. Um, also you can click here, you can go you can you can go over all these and take a look if you want the bookmarks bookmarks to be included or hyperlinks or not so you can just uh, create uh, take a look at all this uh, but what's very important here is to go to compression and uh, take a look at that one as well I'm using 300 um, PPI pixel per inch which is a great quality for print so make sure that's uh, what it's there and also immediately we're gonna go here to marks and bleeds and that's uh, the most important part. All you need to do is to click on all printer marks which will check crop marks, 
lead marks, registration marks, color bar, and page information. And also, if you happen not to have a bleed for your document, you can add it here. So it's going to give you another chance to add bleeds. If you do have a bleed, which I do here, the red line, I can just click here, use document bleed settings. And then you click export and um, it just takes a couple of seconds it will create that for you and um, it will save it wherever you select it. I chose this folder I'm gonna click here and that's what the document looks like as you see we have the color bar we have the crops and the registration marks etc so this is how to create a print ready PDF file in Adobe Illustrator thank you for watching